Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Grace. So today, I'm actually going to be updating you guys with my PM skincare routine. This is the makeup I wore all day today. I'm actually really happy with it. I actually filmed a quick video with this today and I'm gonna be posting it later on my Instagram. But today, I'm actually featuring a really special product. It's new and it's from, drum roll please, Shuomura. So this is the Shuomura Skin Purifier and this is their latest version of their really famous cleansing oil. This is the Botanic Oil Indulging Plant-Based Cleansing Oil. Now, I have not opened this yet, so I'm gonna be basically doing a first impression for you guys. This is just the portion for the cleansing oil. I will be showing you guys every single thing I do from removal of the makeup all the way till the last product in my PM skincare routine. Let's get started. First things first, I'm gonna wash my hands and brush my teeth because like my last video on Instagram, when you wash your face, always make sure your hands are clean. Okay, so now that I've washed my hands and brushed my teeth, you can see that half of my lower face is actually a bit wet, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna go in with my first cleanse since I always double cleanse. So this is the star of the show tonight. So first I'm going to unlock the product. So I'm gonna pour, I'm gonna do another pump. Okay, I like the smell so far. It's different from the previous one. As I'm wearing falsies and lash extensions, I am avoiding using the oil around my eyes because it's going to disrupt the glue. You see how quickly that removed my lips? This feels nice. I think I prefer the scent of this compared to the ultimate one. Hate is a very exciting emotion. It smells so good. Again, light and texture. I'm gonna do one more pump. This is for the top of my head. No, you don't need this much, I think. I think you just need two, maybe three tops, but I'm a bit extra. Focusing the last pump on my forehead and my brows, I'm gonna go in with the micellar water for my eyeshadow and going a little bit into the hairline because that's where a lot of the makeup kind of gets stuck. And then whenever I like pat my face dry, I always see like a line, <laughs> a curved line. All right, now it's time to emulsify. I'll be right back. So now my hands are wet. I'm gonna start massaging this on my face. It emulsifies just okay because the texture of the oil is so light. This is a very fuzz-free type of cleansing oil. Take it down my neck a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to wipe this off with my reusable cotton and I'll be right back. So now that my face is rinsed and wiped clean, I'm gonna go in with the same cleanse, uh, cleanser that I used in the morning. This is the Eve Long Gel Balm Cleanser. I'm gonna do one pump. This is my second cleanse. A little bit down the neck too as well. It's very balmy right now. I think I'm gonna wet my hands just a tiny bit to kind of get it to emulsify. Mm, that's a lot better. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse my face and I will be right back. So now I'm going to pat myself dry with a face towel, but not too much because you want to leave your skin damp for skincare. But before I do that, I'm actually gonna take a micellar water and see if there's any makeup left over on my face and also have to take away where my eye makeup is. So I'm taking a cotton pad and some Bioderma. I'm just gonna focus this on the edges of my face and the closest to my eyes as possible without getting near the lashes, but also being very gentle. I always take this down my neck too, because you never know. So there's a bit left over, but not too bad. And now this is where it gets kind of detailed. I'm gonna take a cotton bud and I'm gonna dip it into my Bioderma and I'm going to try to clean up my eye makeup. I have eyeliner. You don't know if it's waterproof. Okay, some of it has definitely come off. If you guys can see that, it comes off like, instead of like ink, I don't know, it comes off like in clumps. 
Okay, and now so that was basically all the makeup removal. I'm gonna start with my skincare. First product is the Sun By Me AHA BHA PHA 30 Days Miracle Toner. This is my favorite toner of pretty much all time since I discovered it. I use I like to use this at night. So I'm just going to saturate my cotton pad just the tiniest bit and focus this on the areas where my pores are really prominent at first, the nose and the inner cheeks. And then the middle of the forehead and then spread the rest all around. Up next I'm going with this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist, which is honestly one of the best. And now since my lips feel kind of dry, I'm going in with this Organic to Green Moisturizer. It's kind of like a balm. It's for your lips and like any dry areas. I'll link everything down below. It's really big. How big it is. It's vegan, it's cruelty free. It's like, it has a very small list of ingredients. It's so good. Up next, since tonight is actually acid night, I'm going in with another eye serum. That's not my retinol one. And this is the Ordinary Caffeine Eye Serum, which I normally use in the morning as well. So you guys would have already seen that. Um, two drops into my ring finger, just like in the morning. And dab it around my eyes. What well, you guys will notice that my skincare routines are pretty consistent. Almost to everything I do is kind of shop my stash. I like to finish things at a time. I don't really open multiple things at once unless it was like for work. Like. And now I'm going in with an acid serum which contains I think AHAs and BHAs. This is the Amoravixa Acid Fix. I apply this just like a serum. I do two dots on the forehead dot on my nose, one on my, each cheek, and the pet never touches the skin. And using my fingers. I start from the top down. And take wherever is the rest on my cheek down to my chin. You will feel a tiny bit of a tingling sensation, but that means it's working. On really sensitive skin days, like maybe when like my hormones are a bit whacked, like it stings a lot more than normal. And it absorbs right into the skin, so I don't really rub it around too much. Because fear of pilling. But so far, it has never pilled on me. Up next is moisturizer. This is the Waso Shiseido Quick Matte Moisturizer, which is actually oil-free. Um, I'm actually almost out of this, so just do one pump. Because you it's really actually liquidy. Run around my hands, gross. Massage this onto my face. Very light and scent and easy to use. I'm almost done. Hold on. One more product. Shh. And now for the final product is the Ordinary 100% Cold Press Virgin Marula Oil. Now I hear this is actually a dupe for the Drunk Elephant one. And I always love an affordable dupe. Just like the serum, I do two dots on the forehead, one on the nose, one on each cheek. And if this was like one of those indulging nights, I would get out my jade roller. But tonight I'm in a bit of a hurry to go to bed. So I just kind of gently massage this into my skin. And that is basically my PM skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, I hoped you enjoy seeing my updated PM skincare routine. And I have to say, I enjoy the scent of this new cleansing oil box, Kishimura. But I think the previous one did just a tad bit better. I'm not sure if it's because I'm wearing lash extension this time, so it takes a bit longer and harder to remove my makeup. I think I will need to test it again once my lash extensions decide to fall off. Honestly, the grade and the quality, I think it's exactly the same. I will probably be rotating between the two depending on how I feel. I definitely recommend this if you guys like fragrances that are a little bit more citrusy. It's really refreshing. Give this a try when you're in store. Like smell it, you know, safely of course. But thank you again so much, Shumura, for sending this to me. Um, this is in no way obligated or an affiliate. I wanted to try this out myself. And uh, thank you, you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!